Who's up early? Randy is. Who's got 18 minutes straight of mulching to do? Randy does. That's right. He's going to get it done. It's a lot of fields. It's really dusty. He really, he really should try and figure that out. I don't know. What can you even do about dust? Basically, it just needed to rain. I don't know. This is episode 37, Eurovian Farms. What's going on, everyone? Dirty Randy here, and it's a dark early morning in November, but uh, it's a little bit past 7 o'clock, believe it or not, and we're going to get to it. We really could use some lights down here for the winter time, but I mean, what can you do, I guess? We got lights on the tractors. What do you want, guy? So, we're going to start off where we left off, oh my gosh, last month uh, with uh, we finished our big sunflower harvest and we're looking pretty good, but we got a lot of uh, kind of mulching to do. I suppose we could straight up cultivate it, but you know, mulching it seems to be working out for us. So we're gonna do just that. Got yeah, pretty lined up there. That'll do. Now we'll get to it. We'll go mulch all these stalks. And that should give us a nice little yield bonus for uh, for our next harvest. So that is awesome. But yeah, as you can see, incredibly dusty job. We're getting it done in a better tractor than we did last time. Thankfully, we didn't have to do it last time. But uh, we're going to bust it out today and see how it goes. So far, so good. But uh, we got a lot of fields to tend to. So it's definitely not a small job by any means. Yes, I know. These trees are all... They're in the way, but you know what? I dig them, so not the end of the world. We work around them. We'll get everything done, and hopefully that sun should be coming up pretty soon for us and we can turn off these lights. But either way, we're getting it done. It's a dusty job out here this morning, and it'll be nice to have everything kind of settled. We'll get to some spraying a little bit later, and we should, uh, should be in a pretty good spot with these fields. Unfortunately, they're just going to sit pretty barren over the winter time but they'll be ready to go for next season which is fantastic and I was looking at some other fields that we could possibly purchase if, uh, if we got some more money to uh, get some more barley in for the chickens but I think really they're not too bad we still have you know 6,000 liters or so of barley we are running low on wheat so we should be okay for a while but it's still nice to top up when we can and we can't really plant anything as far as that goes we just missed our planting window in October there so we can't really plant anything more this year a little bit of a shame but that's okay we have a lot of product incoming so we should be able to afford a field that we can kind of just you know harvest it and uh, resell the land which kind of cheeky but at the same time you know land is valuable people want it you know if, uh, it's kind of like buying his harvest really and then uh, you know give the land back to somebody else maybe the same buyer who knows or seller rather but either way we're, uh, we're making pretty good on this so we're gonna keep on it now that we've gotten maybe a couple little bits of uh, the headland done on either end we should be able to just make a nice corner and not have to lift off and do uh, such sharp turns so that is awesome once we get this cleared up there we should be good to go and I'm very pleased with this Renault tractor so far it's been a good investment I'm digging it well, let's roll let's do it
Well, so good so far. I mean, this is by far the dustiest job I've ever done. But we're looking good. We're getting pretty much all these stocks mulched up and uh, looking good doing it. Sometimes you can't even really see the tractor behind the cloud of dust we're, uh, we're leaving behind. But, you know, we could, uh, we could really use some rain out here. So not much we can really do about it except, uh, you know, try our best. But yeah, it's just like, where'd we go? I don't know. So, I don't know. You can uh, definitely see a bit better this way. But, uh, hey, we did pretty good last time, honestly, I would say. Uh, it was getting getting pretty hectic near the end there, where, like, some of it, I literally, you literally couldn't even see the uh, the tractor at all. So, that's all right. We will uh, we'll try a different approach for this one. Our last field here to get mulched up, and we're looking pretty good. We can definitely get in some spraying today. Look forward to doing that, getting... Well, not necessarily rid of the weeds, but um, making them dead, dying them, getting getting rid of their life. So, yeah, that'll be good. They won't be soaking up the nutrients in the field and what have you. So, I'll take it. But, yeah, we'll finish up this mulching first. And after that, I mean, Depends how we're doing for time, but we gotta start uh, pruning as well. We've got a lot of vineyards, and we want them to be growing for us come springtime. I know it's still, you know, a few months away, but it's it's a big job. So if we can at least start that job, you know, and uh, start to slowly attack those fields, that would be wonderful. And then uh, we can look at fertilizing after that. Alright, pretty much just finishing up here with the last little bits that uh, this awkward field has left for us and little bits that I probably just missed from not going perfectly straight, but what can you do? Can't yeah, always be perfect and uh, quite often you're not, so that's you know, the way she goes. But it uh, looks like that's pretty much all that and then I think there is one little partial row. Yeah, just these little guys right here. We can take care of and we're good. Good to go. Alright. Well, that dusty job is over and done with. And uh, who knows, maybe we will get some rain over this winter season that can just kind of keep the dust at bay a little bit would be nice. But we'll go drop this guy off. He's done a wonderful job. Uh, I suppose we should actually cultivate those fields as well at some point but I don't think that's quite as high on the priority list I'm glad we got the stocks mulched and uh, just the start of those weeds taken care of but that should be pretty good for those guys for now to just let them hang out until uh, we're ready to start dealing with them again we'll squeeze this guy in here I know the sprayer was in this spot but it should be fine there as well pop back out of here and we already got our sprayer ready to roll herbicides in there and I know that because we did it just the other night so we'll hop in the McCormick here and get to it all right looking good and this sprayer is a big boy as well so should make fairly quick work of our fields there it's coming up to uh, 1 o'clock in the day. Oh my gosh. Um, we might need to change. I didn't even think about this. Wheels. Where's the crop? Oh, I think we're... I think we can maybe get away with it. With uh, with these wheels right now. If the crop was any longer, we would not be able to. But we're just fine. I did not even 
think about that. And we just got to make sure we don't hit the trees. But uh, I will admit they are kind of a pain when it comes to this kind of stuff because it ain't easy being cheesy. No, that's not. That's not Dirty Randy. That's Cheeseburger Eddie. Oh. Oh my gosh, it looks like we ran out literally right uh, right as we were almost done. We had one, maybe two more passes left to go. Yeah, two at the most, so that's a little bit unfortunate, but not the end of the world. We weren't actually even 100% full. I think we only had about 50% of a tank left in here, but I honestly, I thought it would be enough, but... What can you do? Uh, if we didn't have to fully spray that one field that's like almost the width of this guy, it's just a little bit more, and uh, just because of the edge of it, you can't quite shorten your uh, your spray width and save a little bit of chemical. But unfortunately, you know, I mean, uh, what can you do? Not a whole lot we can. So uh, we'll just top back up. We know we probably don't need a whole lot in here, so we won't go full. We'll just get a little bit to get the job done. All right. Well, we got like 300 liters in here. It's still 25%, but uh, that's all good. Kind of as soon as you open up the valve, it just rushed out into there, but I'm not too worried about it. We're going to end up using it again at some point, but probably not before the uh, liquid ferdy I would imagine so get this guy unfolded and uh, we'll do our final couple strips here and we're looking pretty good it hasn't taken us too too long to get this done but of course it is the winter time so the days are shorter than uh, they are in the spring winter or the, the spring and summer there so not a whole lot we can do at the time but fortunately we don't have as much work to get done in the winter. It's still a fair bit, of course, with all of our pruning on our vineyards, but like I said, if we can start to attack that a little bit maybe today, uh, if not just get things set up at the very least, we should be in a good spot to kind of attack those a little bit each month. And by the springtime, they should be in a good shape. Of course, we still would just need to get fertilizer down on them, but that's, you know, we don't need to even worry about that till the springtime really but we'll see how far we get with everything so we'll just do this last little awkward corner head up on our final pass with this and we're in a great spot for the winter time because then we can yeah like I said turn our head to our vineyards and that's pretty much going to be our, uh, our plan of attack with those guys so I think we might be able to get away with shortening down the width on this guy and saving some chemical but then again it does get a little bit wider here so you know what I don't even know if we can that's all good this is our last little bit here and that's all she wrote folks wonderful we are done all of our spraying now so no more weeds in our fields the rest of our fields here are looking absolutely wonderfully golden. 
it's actually quite quite a different landscape in the wintertime here with no crops actually growing on these fields but uh, you know kind of the dead trees the golden fields from the harvest and all of the kind of golden leaves that are ready to be pruned up so that's looking wonderful we can drop off our sprayer once again and uh, you know what trying to think of how to drop this guy off the best we can why not just pull right on through if we can and oh hit the mulcher make it incredibly difficult to get out drop this off bump into it on our way out whoa just maybe is it stuck on the pole oh yeah all right, cool. Bumped into position. Wonderful. We can always move it around with the Landini or the John Deere. Well, no, actually, I don't think we can with the John Deere. So it'd have to be with the uh, with the Landini there. So we'll get this guy parked up. Looking good, bud. All right. Speaking of the Landini, let's do it. Let's land do it. Land dizzle. So we'll hook up one of these guys, and we can back in, grab the other one. We can probably head off to get at least one field done today. And that'll just really help us out and uh, make it feel like less of a task of getting all of them done as the winter goes on. So, there we go. There's one and two almost tipping over. 3.30 in the afternoon. We really only have maybe an hour or two of daylight left but uh, we're gonna make it count. That's pruning, that's pruning. Need to make sure we can just get that little bit there. We're good on fuel and we're good to go. There we go, we should probably turn on our full lights to be honest with you already, just so we can see what we're doing because there's really not a lot of sun. I think it is starting to go behind the mountains. But we're off getting this done at a good pace. And like I said, this will just really start to ease the pressure throughout the winter for each one of these fields that we can get done. So I will take it. We can skip two. We know that, so that means, yes, we can go down like this. Right, we did have a decent system with this, I believe, where, you know, once we're going down this way, we want to skip a few rows uh, and leave ourselves some room because if you swing wide and left, oops, kind of bump that one, then uh, you end up being able to just hook on a little bit better because the one on the front is, of course, to the right. So it's off there. If you go make a right turn, then it's just really in close on you and it makes it tough to get on the line. So we're coming up. I'll show you what I mean here. If we can go a little bit further this way. Oh, I kind of lost track. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to go onto this six one and leave ourselves a little bit of space. But if we're turning this way, it just goes on then real nice for you, as opposed to the other direction, where it's nice and tight. But then if you do that on the same after leaving a few rows here, then we can do the same on the other end and we're looking good. So, we got the system, you know the system. We're sharing Randy's secret sauce to vineyard pruning. But oh, there you go. We'll get her done at least just this field today before the sun goes down completely if, uh, if we can. But uh, see, now we can swing all the way this way and we can just hook on here no problem. There you go. You're laughing, you're pruning. No. All right, let's finish this up and we'll be on the other side. Oh, wow, wow. All
Well, looks like we did actually kind of beat the sunset, so that's awesome. I will take it. We absolutely ripped through this field, and uh, she is done with the exception of a couple little ones that, uh, for whatever reason, didn't want to get pruned. But that is not a worry. We're looking dandy. I wouldn't mind just checking on our chickens and seeing how they're doing for food, because, of course, we are kind of monitoring those because they're running low. We want to make sure we don't run out if possible, but we still have some barley on backup. All right, looks like there's still a good amount left in both, so that is wonderful. I will take it. So, hey, been another successful day, a dusty day, and, uh, well, I'm, uh, I'm pretty dirty, believe it or not. I should uh, probably go have a shower, get rid of some of this stuff, and uh, fresh pair of clothes won't hurt so hey that's uh, that's gonna be it for this episode i hope you guys enjoyed it we got so much more coming it's just kind of the winter lull right now but uh, we will get through it and on to some more action so thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you in the next episode all right bye 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 bye